Good morning. Thank you again for clicking on the link. Um, I really hope that these links are helping you with, in whatever way possible, whether it's a leading a team, whether it's leading a family, working within, within a team. Um, but thank you again for gaining momentum. I really appreciate it. You can now follow me as well on Gav Suites on podcasts and really just another platform where I'm trying to inspire people, inspire each other to, to create greatness within each other. That's really the goal. So leadership tip number nine is the, the dreaded accountability. And it's often the, the one area where we as leaders try and shy, maybe put our, our heads in the sand and try and avoid um, having to have that hard conversation with your employees or with your teammates. You would have already as a leader decided upon your goals, your vision, and alongside that you would have obviously decided upon what your non-negotiables are and also what values that are important to your team to ensure that you reach to your potential. Now, if there's anyone in your team or anyone in your corporation or anyone within, within your followers that are going against those values, anyone who's trying to derail what you guys are trying to achieve, then you as a leader need to have that hard conversation with that particular person. The important thing is you do not leave it because the other employees are watching. And as soon as they see that other people are allowed to do what they want, or if other people are trying to derail what everyone's trying to achieve, you will slowly start to lose trust within those employees and those followers that, that originally trusted you and went on this journey with you. So have that hard conversation. We as human beings want the line in the sand. We, need to understand, we all want to understand what the do's and don'ts are to achieve this bigger greatness goal or this bigger vision that you try to create. You would have already had the conversation with your employees as well for buy-in to the vision. So everyone would have had their say, their idea of what they feel in vision is important. So those, you can now hold them accountable because you all agreed to those values. One area that you can really create a real accountability um, understanding within your team is to start to try and create a peer-to-peer -peer accountability. This is so important. Too often in corporations we wait for the head figure, the manager, the leader at the top to hold everybody accountable within the corporation. This is almost impossible. If you can create a culture where the peers, where the employees hold each other accountable, you'll have a far more effective team and you'll go faster to your vision than, than any other method. So speak to your employees, create that trust where you can hold a conversation with someone and say, hey bud, listen, that's not what we agreed upon, or why are you doing that? How can we help you? Um, what, why are you going against what we should be doing? And it's so important to have that conversation. So if you can create a peer-to-peer -peer accountability, it makes it easier for you as a leader and certainly creates a culture that, that, that is trust and creates a culture where, where you are driving successfully towards your vision. So hold each other accountable. It's a tough one to do, but it's really an important thing to do because you don't want to lose the trust of the employees and you don't want to create a system where other employees feel that the reward for good work is more work. Thank you.